as we sub, I'm on Arts here, and uh, as promised, this is a little tutorial on how to use Illustrator and how to do some typography. And it's really pretty simple, but if you don't uh, know how to do it, you're just going to be lost when you're trying to make typography and edit text. Uh, so right now, if you guys could please like the video, that would be great, because that way we'll uh, get more views and everything. Anyway, let's get started. Open up Illustrator, and let's do a file. Uh, new and I'd recommend making the size 1280 by 720 because that way it kind of fits everything um, like YouTube and your background or whatever but you can make whatever size you want but I'm just going to do 1280 by 720 and now you got something that looks like this so we can get started so click this little T tool right here so you can type and I choose kind of a long word, maybe like eight, ten letters. I'm gonna do one like Illustrator, but you can do whatever you want. You can do your YouTube channel name. You can do um, you could do I'm on Arts, whatever you want to do. You could do typography. But once you have that, whatever you have um written and it's highlighted, just go to Window real quick and uh, where it says Type, make sure Character is checked off. So check that off, and then you'll get this little box right here. And that way you can easily change the font and the size and everything. So I'm going to make the size 200. Uh, which looks pretty good. And for fonts, I wouldn't go crazy uh, and use like a default font. I would just kind of go something kind of standard and uh, plain that isn't too crazy. I'm going to use Helvetica New Bold for this one. And... I'm just going to give it an exclamation point because that's what typography is about. It's all about writing something and then just making it interesting and just changing it. So you can use this black arrow right here to move around your text. That's one thing. And uh, once you're in that tool mode, you can kind of like right click right to the side of it. And it will show this. And this is pretty much the main thing that you need to do. You're just going to click create outlines. And this allows you to customize the text. What it does is it automatically breaks the font down into anchor points, kind of, so you can customize them. And once you did that, it's really actually kind of fun at this point. You can um, go to this tool to the right of it, the direct selection tool. You can just click one of the points and drag it up. And using the green arrows and paying attention to the numbers, once you get the hang of that, that will help you uh, make it so it's all kind of even. So just have fun, you know, play around, get something you like. Can't really do anything. I'm not going to tell you specifically what to do, but the idea is just to move, you know, move the points. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to move a couple of them uh, so I get a decent look for it. It's going to connect that, like, T to the O. Um, what else could I do? maybe extend or shorten this U a little bit. Just have fun. Uh make something cool. And let's try extending this a little bit. You guys obviously won't have the same thing because you guys have a different text. But let's just uh keep it something like that. Kinda cool looking. And now I'll show you some uh, cool things you can do with shapes. Once you have a, you can pause the video right now and just finish up customizing the text if you're not done with it. Uh, but if you want to add some shapes the way you do it, you're just going to click on this rectangle tool, hold it down, and it gives you a good selection of shapes. So for example, the star tool, I'm just going to click and drag and it will give you a star. And now once you let go and uh, give it a size, you can Go back to this black move tool, and for example, I'm just going to put it inside the U. That looks kind of cool. And let's go back to the shape tool. Let's change it to the ellipse tool, which is like a circle. But as you can see, if I do it, it's kind of going to be an oval. And I can kind of assume that this is close enough to a circle. Uh, but to make it so it's exactly circular proportions, while you're dragging, just hold shift, and you can see it constrains to it keeps the proportions of a circle so I'm just gonna make a small little circle and I'm gonna go to this black move tool 
or the selection tool, whatever, and I'm going to put it right inside the O. So I think that looks kind of cool. So just go crazy, have fun, you know. Um, get some interesting looks that isn't just typing out words. Isn't, I'm not very good at uh, typography, to be honest, but I, I know if you guys know how to move around the points, you can just pretty much use your creative minds to make anything you want. Now you can go to um, Shape Tool again. The Shape Tool is very useful, and if you want to do the Rectangle Tool and maybe extend this point, you can just click and drag, and it will make a rectangle for you. And that obviously looks kind of cool. Oops. That thing comes up kind of. Yeah. Alright. What else to do? It's really up to you guys. Um, once you're there, say you want to add some new text, just do the same process. You can type. And this time I'm going to make the font smaller. And pretty much the idea of typography is just putting the letters or the words in an interesting uh, way that's kind of appealing to the viewer and I'm not claiming that I'm like g good at doing this but I know that's pretty much what it's about so I'm just gonna type something that's a little bit smaller that says typography and let's do the same font but in these little options let's change it to maybe uh, bold italic and add a period at the end so that looks kinda cool and you can take this and I know that I think there's some way to rotate it sometimes I get mixed up alright yeah that's how you do it so once you have some text, you don't even have to do create outlines unless you want to um, alter it again. But you can just click on this rotate tool right here and just click and drag. And let me just add on do that. If you click and drag while holding down shift, it will go in increments of 45 degrees, which is good if you're just looking for an exact 90 degree turn, which is common. So once you get something that looks like that, I'm just going to put it against this line. Yours obviously isn't going to look the same because you have something a little bit different. But if you want to rotate text, that's how you do it. So you got something that looks like that. And then I'm going to do one final text that is going to say uh, graphics designer. The words are kind of random. They might not even make sense. But hey, I'm not making an advertisement for anyone not making a speed I'm just showing you guys how to do it this might not be the best example but so you can add new text and maybe I'm gonna um, change the font a little bit or just change the thing maybe just make this one let's try light yeah looks okay let's make the font a little bit smaller though all right Now, it's nice, but it is a little bit plain. It's just white on black. And if that's the look you're going for, that's fine. But if you just want to take this as an image without a background and edit it in Photoshop, uh, the way you do that, just go to File, um, Save. And for Format, oops, cancel that, actually. Sorry about that, guys. Actually, File, Export. And I'm just going to call it um, Illustrator Tutorial. And let's save it under, save it on, on my desktop. And for the format, you want PNG. And then this thing's going to pop up. And for resolution, do a high 300 PPI. I don't know what that means, but just do high. Uh, color, transparent, keep it like that and then just click OK and it's pretty much just gonna write the file for you alright so let's uh, minimize that and let's go to Photoshop alright guys so uh, opening up Photoshop and now let's do a uh, file open and just find your uh, PNG that you saved. And mine's right here. And now it's just pretty much automatically going to load for you. And you can use your Photoshop skills to. You guys are probably better at me than fo at Photoshop, but I'll just give you an example. Let's say I'm just going to add a new layer, put that under it, 
and let's do an interesting color for the background that kind of pops like a bright orange. I'm just going to fill the background. This is not a Photoshop tutorial, so I'm obviously skipping a, ske uh, skipping a lot of steps. And then you can make this layer. You can um, invert it so it's white. And then maybe a little bit less opacity. And maybe make a big black stripe going down the middle. I don't know, guys. Just be creative. Let's try something like that. All right, fair enough. Um, that's your tutorial, guys, on how to make some cool-looking typography uh, using Adobe Illustrator, and then uh, how to export it into Photoshop to get a cool look that kind of looks on the lines of this. So please like the video if you learned something, and even better, if you guys would subscribe, that would be great. Thanks for watching, guys.